As doctors marched in Cairo, nurses marched in California this week protesting Blue Cross Blue Shield's latest insurance rate hikes. Said National Nurses Union President Roseanne DeMauro, quote, We can learn a lesson from the streets of Egypt. Public pressure is essential to confront tyranny, whether you're faced with political repression or corporate control of our health. There are lives in the balance. Blue Cross Blue Shield announced increases of 60 percent on individual premiums. Here's some footage from the scene outside the company's headquarters. By the end of their demonstration, the insurance company had agreed to delay action on the hike for 60 days. Stay tuned for more on this campaign in weeks to come. I'm an independent contractor and I couldn't really get it from employers. And at first it was $360 a month for my family of four, my wife and two kids. And then uh, they kept raising it every six months. And now it's more frequent and faster. Now it's, uh, it's gone up for us 73% in the last year. Because we're such a small business, uh, we have to carry our own insurance. And it is quite expensive. You know, I should say, like, at this point, our health payment, our health insurance payment per month is almost half of what we pay for rent, which is just, it's incredible. So we're, we're starting to examine our finances and um, reconsider our choice to have Blue Shield. Uh, what we may do is just cover our son and decide to just throw our chances to the wind and um, pay out of pocket as necessary for my husband and myself. We're here today because we're at the scene of where corporate crime is taking place. The death panel sit upstairs denying patients the care that they need. This is the only insurance company in California that doesn't disclose how much their CEO makes. We've asked them, and they've said no. And yet they're raising rates. They're charging people 59% more, but they're not telling us what the blank check that CEO Bruce Badonkin writes to himself is worth. That's the shield, the corporate shield of the shield. And people say, why are nurses, why do nurses care so much? Well, nurses see the human fallout that happens, they're at ground zero. They're there when the patient falls through a safety net that no longer exists. Cynthia Campbell has, had a, has been a recovery room RN with more than 30 years experience. When she was dropped from her Blue Shield policy after being diagnosed with two rare and aggressive stage four cancers. She ended up with $800,000 of medical bills. I have been a nurse for 30 years and I paid premiums for 30 years because I was the perfect uh, client. After I was dropped by Blue Shield, my husband's VA program, because he is 100% disabled, my husband's VA program allowed me on. And because of that, I was able to continue the care I need in fact, just yesterday, having a results from another scan, which were perfect. The government health care system that I've used through the VA has been a lifesaver. Blue Shield supports Obamacare and then cynically turned around and made a mockery out of democracy and was going to raise their rates 59%. And if it wasn't for this protest here today, they would have raised those rates. So we got 60 more days, we're going to stop them or we're going to run them out of California. Yeah. Yeah.